when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, through the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way uh, or the highway. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of my golf journey. This is my attempt, my second attempt at capturing every shot of my round of golf. This one happens to be at the links of Shaladon in Mount Airy, Mount Airy, Maryland. Um, so I apologize, I wasn't able to get any video of my tee shot or my second shot on this first hole par 5. This is actually my third shot. And it um, wasn't horrible. Um, got up near the green in 3, had a decent chip, but wasn't able to convert to save par and ended up with a bogey. I, and I can imagine what uh, many of you are asking, and the answer is yes, I do own a mirror. However, however, I did not choose to use it today, so I'll do better next time. Hole two is a pretty short a downhill par four. I try, try to hit driver and just kind of get one down there, but I pulled this left and ended up really close to the OB, and I didn't do good out of the rough. Had to hit another one, had to hit again after this top and hit a tree and hitting uh once it kind of comes to rest after hitting this tree i'm hitting four from the fairway and after that i hit a good shot i mean today i actually i had some really good shots with my uh my wedges but the putts just did not fall today again for the second day excuse me second round in a row um i, I can take out take some positives out of this and that i was hitting my pitch shots pretty good I think the putts will come. I just got to keep hitting, uh, hitting the shots close enough to give myself a chance. So you can't really see. There is water. This is a downhill medium length par five there's water to the right so i'm like all right let me just uh hit this hybrid and, and lay up in front of the water because th there was some wind that was hurting and i just kind of pull hooked that right to the to the left which is uh ob because it's in somebody's yard so i had to re-tee it and hit three from the tee and uh OB. to be honest the shot was probably the third shot was probably the only sh solid shot i hit on this hole. Um, this actually put me in the rough. I didn't find the fairway. I was a little bit to the right, just in front of the water. Uh, grabbed a five iron, so let me just try to get something up there into the fairway so I can get onto the green and plunk right in the water. So at this point, let's see, I hit three off the tee, four in five. I, I really honestly started started losing, losing count at this point. And so I had to drop again closer to the water and uh, this is what I was trying to do on the, the the first kind of layup shot. Um, again, here's another good wedge into the green, but again, could not convert. Had to settle for a big big nine on this hole. Um, that putt was just just really not well read at all. Okay, on this hole, par four, dog leg left, I feel like I got away with a couple shots here. Didn't hit the best tee shot. Kind of had a pull hook with this three wood where I was just trying to lay up. But luckily, it is dog leg left, so it just put me in the left rough. And while I had a, a, um, a pretty deep lie here, I couldn't get a get the club on it that well. And I hit the little right to left slinger up near the green. So I'm trying to get up and down for par here. This third shot, the green runs away. The wind is blowing away. It's a downhill and while I hit a good chip, it just kept running. And uh, as I look back, I needed to watch that ball roll away. So I'm trying to save par on this shot here. And um, didn't hit it hard enough. And I ended up three putting um, for a double bogey six.
This is a short par three, like about 100 yards or maybe a little less downhill, steep downhill. And I just, I think I probably hit a, hit a 56 or something. This green's hard to hit for me for some reason, but I did hit it this time. Um, surprise, surprise, I didn't convert the birdie putt, but I did two putt for par, and I'll, I'll take that. Right, the next hole here is a par four up the hill, very narrow. I tend to hit a three wood or a hybrid. I was looking for a nice high draw here. Um, I had to I had to settle for it. I got a kind of a slow push slice, but it worked out all right. It was in even though I was in, in the rough, I wasn't in the woods. It was a thick rough with up the ball was above my feet, so this was, had pull written all over it, and that's why I did pulled it into the bunker. And although I hit a decent bunker shot here, I you know I was just trying to get up some get up out of there safely and maybe you know put one putt for par. Um, couldn't convert. Had to settle for bogey on this hole. All right, what do you know? Another par three, um, another solid iron shot. Um, nice high draw up to the green, and yeah, you guessed it. Good look at birdie, but didn't really give it a chance. Uh, a two putt par. Yeah, I'm not complaining, but the round was really up and down. Lots of holes like this, where, where it was just almost like tap in pars, and then you know I had my fair share of triples, so. Okay, number eight is a pretty straightforward par four, but there is water. Um, you can get to it with probably with driver, a good solid driver. I was trying to hit three wood to lay up in front of the water, and I pushed it right. And I, I wasn't 100% sure if it went OB or not. I did find a ball out there that I thought might have been my ball, but um, unfortunately, I forgot to mark my ball, and so I couldn't be sure. Uh, and I, I kind of felt like as I looked at it more, it wasn't. so. End up just dropping and hitting four out in the fairway and then hit that terrible shot from there. But again, back to my wedges, this shot ended up being pretty good. Unfortunately, it was the fifth shot and once again, didn't get up or down for par. Um, could convert this shot and had to settle for a seven. I'll say one thing I've noticed as I started videoing my round is that when my bad shots show up, it's usually because of a really, really disconnected swing and I'm kind of rushed and fast and uh, it's kind of been a consistent pattern. Here's the hole number nine. Not a horrible shot, kind of a pull left, but this hole is super short and I cleared the bunker inside a little wedge, wedge shot in. This wedge, although a solid shot, I just hit too, too far, and I uh, didn't really give myself a good look at birdie. This is actually a really good birdie hole because it's a, usually a drive and like almost a little chip sometimes. And uh, had to settle for a long, long uh, putt for my third putt, but I'll take a two putt from this range any day. And I settled for a par four on, this, on, on number nine, and my nine hole score was 49.
All right, after that blistering 49 on the front, I was I was I still wasn't upset about the, you know, a bunch of bad holes. They had a lot of good shots as well, and I was really looking forward to this tee shot. Tens a par five, had the driver just kind of hit a solid one down the fairway and fell out, of, fell out of this one, pushed it to the right in the woods, but there are red stakes up there, so I took a drop, hitting three here. And I was just really just trying to hit a little low slice around the corner, just get something back in play. And uh, I just kind of hit it higher than I thought it was going to go. And this actually went behind me. And I had to back oh, up and re-hit. And honestly, I just pretty much had the same club and the same same approach here. Um, but I pulled this shot a little bit left. At this point, I'm just trying to really get up, kind of get something close and try to get out of here with uh, that crazy amount of damage um but this went in the bunker and all the all the bunker shot was decent i left it a little short had to chip up and couldn't get up and down hey what's new and i ended up with a with a nine um you know it's just it's, i don't know what to do about this this i have holes i mean rounds like this all the time a bunch of pars a bunch of bogeys a couple birdies sometimes even and almost every time there's a couple triples or, or worse I mean this is the second nine of the round it's only hole number 10 so this is just not a good way to, to play hole number 11 is a pretty straightforward par 4 sort of short I mean, there's some trees up to the right as long as you get it um, past the water on the right you're, you're fine um, I did push this tee shot a bit and um, didn't have a, a regular shot, so I had to punch out. And this actually turned out to be a really good recovery shot. And ended up on the green and a two-putt par. So I'll take this. You know, this hole, I really, I think driver is definitely the best play off the tee because you, the farther you get it down there, the shorter your second shot will be. And there's no really real reason to lay up on this hole because there's no trouble the farther out you go, if that makes any sense. Number 12 is a par 3. It's a little um, a little longer than, than it says on the card. It plays a little bit longer. I was, after the first couple of greens in regulation on the par 3s on the front, I, I was hoping for a good shot here, but I ended up in the bunker. Had a good bunker shot, but I couldn't get up and down for to save par, so I had to settle for a bogey on this hole. But this hole I play, I'll, I'll, take, I'll play it like this. I mean, you can't hit every green. After recording some of my putts. I've never recorded putts before I started doing this channel. I feel like my putting stance is a bit closed and that could be contributing to some of my putting blows the last couple of rounds. So I'll have to keep take a look at that. So hole number 13 is a, a medium length par 4. It's pretty straightforward but there is trouble left and right. I think it's OB left and out through the woods to the right. The really key to this hole is the tee shot. Put one in play and you've really got a chance at birdie. I, I pulled my shot to the left. And I, honestly, I feel like I stole one here because I, I think I was hitting a pitch wedge and I pulled it and went right through the tree. But the ball must not have hit anything significant because it went through the tree and landed on the green. And I was able to get out of here with a, a two-part par. Okay, this next hole is a par three, um, hole 14, and it's a challenging par three. It's long. Uh, I mean, if you hit one solid, you, you, there's a lot of room up there, but 
you know, if you miss one, I push this to the right and end up in the trees. Uh, I guess if there's any saving grace that there was red stakes up there. And so I took a drop. And hey, what's usual? I pitched up and could get up and down and had to settle for a double bogey. But again, I think I had a good pitch shot on, on this um, on this hole, all things considered, given that uh, it was kind of in some muddy terrain as I hit up that pitch to here, but I couldn't sink this putt. I like hole 15. It's a par 4. Kind of have a little trees that you got to clear on the tee shot, but it opens up pretty well. So a nice high draw is the perfect shot off off the tee. Uh, I didn't hit it great, but it was down far enough, and I finally hit a fairway. And I, 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 I don't know what happened here. I was hitting. I've been hitting my irons pretty decently all day, and this was just I was just chunked. And I, I think I talked about this in my last video. It seems like I have like at least one or two of those every single. One. And yet again, those types of shots are just round killers. Because here I go with a, a little wedge and hit, hit a pretty decent shot. But I could not save par and had to settle for two putt bogey. I should probably go back and look at all the, the wasted shots. I mean, I, I would guess the chunks and the stupid tee shots, I, mean, I could easily take off five or six shots. And, you know, if I could make a, a putt here and there, there's probably another three or four. So we're already, you know, talking uh, ten shots just on purely, purely just, I don't know if you're lazy or just lack of concentration or what, but um, that's, my, that's, that's my game for whatever reason. So hole 16 is a short par four over the hill out in the distance and I was just talking about wasted shots and this is probably one of the worst shots I hit all day I don't know what caused this this was almost a miss this was a straight right into the woods tee it up and hit three from the tee box so uh, on this second tee shot uh, it wasn't the greatest shot but it, I put something in play and I think it was in the left rough and from the left rough, I hit a wedge, which I've been hitting mostly decent shots all day. And I did put one up on the green. And I was able to two-putt and get out with six. But, you know, if it wasn't for the bad tee shot, that's, that's another par. I feel like hole 17 is a great risk reward hole. There's uh, water to the right, OB left, and it's not a terribly long hole. And if you hit a good drive, you actually can really set yourself up for a second shot um, into this par five of, uh, and be able to reach the green. There is water that protects the green to the right. In this case, I hit a good drive, decent drive, and uh, just decided to lay up left and kind of like the little bailout area. Didn't quite hit it where I was on it, but. Uh, Still had a decent shot into the green, and I was able to put uh, this shot on the green with a decent birdie look. It wasn't close, but it was um, definitely within makeable range. However, I did put the first putt a little past the hole, and I couldn't make the comeback to save my par, so I had a three-putt bogey on this hole. Okay, number 18 is a, is a short par four. It's not the greatest finishing hole in that it's so 
basic, but honestly, my miss here is always to the right. There's OB left, so I can't bail out that way. So I tend to, whether I hit three wood or driver, I end up right a lot of times. In this case, was no exception. There are red stakes out there, so I took a drop, uh, kind of hitting, just punching out into the fairway here for three. Um, again, a little wedge up into the green for my four shot. Again, but again, couldn't convert or get up and down to save bogey, and I end up with a double on 18 for a another 49, 49 on the front, 49 on the back, for a grand total of 98. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave me some comments about things you liked, you didn't like, or things you'd like to see in the future. I hope you enjoy the content. I've attached a screenshot of my overall results. Ended up with a, with a 98 today. Um, I keep my score on the Grint, and I'll include a link to the scorecard in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.